Hey everyone, it's Michael here uh, once more for goodyreader.com and today I'm going to show you an alternative way to download Windows 10 directly to your computer. So I guess right now the main thing is, is that Microsoft is pushing out Windows 10 via staggered release. So not everyone is getting the update uh, via Windows update right away. So chances are if you're going to Windows Update you'll likely see no updates available even though a lot of people are getting it this way now I'm going to show you one of the official ways that Microsoft is encouraging people to download it so what you have to do is visit the Microsoft website here and this will basically allow you to download an ISO file. What that is, it's, it's a very large file. You can either burn it to DVD or USB. So I have the 64-bit version of Windows here. If you're not sure what version of Windows that you have, you can go to your control panel and click on System. And it'll tell you what version that you have installed right now. So I have the 64-bit operating system. So that is what I want to download here from Microsoft. So I'm going to click on download 64-bit version. It's going to download a file. It's like roughly about 20 megs or so. So it'll just take like a few seconds to download. Here it is here. We're going to click on set file. And what it's doing is it's just making sure that your computer is genuine. So what you want to do is not click on upgrade this PC now, but you want to click on create installation media for another PC. Now it defaults to this so you want to change it to English or whatever language is your primary language. I'm going to click on Windows 10 Pro because that's the version of Windows 8 that I have and architecture 64-bit. Click Next. Now you could either install it on a USB flash drive but I really recommend the ISO file method here. Now it'll ask you to save this and it'll take roughly an hour or two depending on your internet connection. So I already have it downloaded. So I'm just going to click cancel but you definitely want to click save. And once you click on the ISO file it will automatically start downloading it. So how do you extract ISO files. Well, you can burn it to DVD, but the method that I recommend is to download a few different programs that will automatically handle ISO files. So I recommend Power ISO, Wind ISO, or Daemon Tools. And on our website here, we have links to where you can download them. So I have Power ISO installed. Obviously, it's the unregistered version because I don't want to pay for it. All right, so this is what you see when you download Power ISO. So I'm going to click Open. I'm going to click on the big giant ISO file that came with the download from directly from Microsoft. And instead of just clicking Setup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this. So I'm going to mount it here. And so it's more or less registered as my F drive now. So my computer is seeing this drive as like an external drive, as a dedicated drive, and so on. So I can click on Setup. And it will begin the Microsoft upgrade process for my computer here. So this is a different way 
if you have tried it different ways to get it. Again, this is coming right from Microsoft. There's no hoops to jump through. All you need to download is an ISO program and you are ready to go. So if you have any questions or concerns regarding this, simply drop a comment on this YouTube video below and I'll endeavor to answer all of your questions or concerns. If you're reading this on our website at goodyreader.com, we will assist you guys in anything that you need to do because we know that you sometimes don't want to wait you want to get Windows 10 right away I mean it's launch day of, of course you want to get this ASAP you don't want to wait weeks or months incidentally this process will work perfectly if you say you have a Microsoft Surface tablet or another Windows 8 or Windows 7 tablet so thanks for watching everyone my name is Michael and everybody take care